listen what happens on girls night stays on girls night we all know the rule but to be completely honest we're in lockdown so not an awful lot is gonna happen but hello everyone what a great start hello everyone okay so Canon would rather focus on the wine than my face thank you hello my loves cheers welcome to girls night welcome back to a brand new video so I am just really really in the mood for a good old girls night but unfortunately this thing called COVID-19 happened and the whole world is in lockdown so here we are as sad as this sounds actually searched girls night in on YouTube the other night and there wasn't any and I really just wanted to feel like I was part of a girly sleepover and there wasn't anything online so I thought I really wanted to create a video today that if this just helps one person then that'll make me very very happy but I'm gonna sneeze, so bear with me one moment. Look at the light, Gemma. Oh, it's gone. No, no, come back. It's gone. That's the worst when a sneeze goes. I wanted to just create a little space that we could all come, have a girly night together, have a catch up. I'm also going to include like a mini girl talk in this video. We're going to make some pizza. I know something I'm missing massively out of lockdown is just a night in with a friend. Just a night in, food, chatting, wine. I'm really, really, really missing that. So I kind of wanted to bring that to you guys. Today is the hottest day of the year, as you can probably tell because I'm sat here in a hoodie. I am not a summer gal. I know that's a very unpopular opinion. Um, I like looking at it from outside, but I am just not made for the heat. I forgot how much of an absolute godsend these clipping ponytails are. I can't stand having hair in my face when it's hot. I feel like it's almost like a bit of a thermal blanket around my face. This is actually a new ponytail from Foxy Locks. As you can tell, I've gone a little bit lighter with my hair. So this ponytail is actually in the shade Iced Latte, and it's just the most beautiful blonde. Like, it's so creamy yet ashy it's so gorgeous if you guys are familiar with my channel you hear me talk about foxy locks all of the time because i absolutely love them if you ever see me wearing hair extensions they will always be foxy locks today i am wearing the 26 inch clipping ponytail and look how long it is the amount of hair you actually get with these ponytails as well is unreal like it's so thick actually let me show you one of my old ponytails so you can see just how easy they are to apply so they come in a box like this really handy as well because you can kind of keep it in the box this one here is in the shade silver fox if you have like really 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 platinum hair this is like a sophie colored hair if you have like platinum colored hair then this one is perfect you can put your natural hair in a bun or a ponytail and then all you need to do is you clip this over your ponytail and then you wrap this part round you stick the velcro like that and then you have this strand of hair here and then this strand here goes round your hair bubble so it makes it look even more natural yeah as always i will leave a direct link to foxy locks in the description box below i'll also link the ponytail and my normal extensions and i just feel extremely grateful that i get to work with them every single month because they are one of my favorite brands i also have a code which you guys can use which is foxy gemma m which will get you a free gift at the checkout Without further ado, ado, I always say that wrong. Without further ado, let's get on with the girl night. Girls night. Do you know what, this, this heat just affects my brain. Maybe it's the wine. And today I am 50 shades of gray, but I'm feeling comfier than ever. I'm kind of sweating, but we're gonna roll with it. So these joggers are Missy Empire, I believe. This is from, God, where is this from? I think Sisters and Seekers. Um, I'll try and find a link for this or one similar for this in the description box below. And then this little top was from Miss Selfridge ages ago. So first thing we need to do on girls night is get your comfiest clothes possible. I feel like we are all gonna have a big reality shock when it comes to wearing um jeans again i'm definitely not ready for that at all um but first things first get your comfiest clothes on make sure you are cozy get yourself a wine a coffee a cup of tea a cocktail ever drink your heart desires make sure you have it so earlier today i took a little trip to m s to get all of the things that i feel like cheer me up so if i'm having a crappy day i just want pizza chocolate 
and wine and that will make me feel so much better so i was going to take you guys with me to mns but it was just so hot i needed the aircon on a full blast um and you wouldn't have been able to hear a word i was saying which is probably a good thing because my singing in the car is actually quite horrific um so i'm going to show you what i got from mns so from my beloved mns i picked up a few bits to make healthy wrap pizzas tonight i made these in a vlog a few weeks ago and you guys love them it is my favorite dinner it's a perfect like summer dinner to have with a little salad and stuff like that and they literally take 10 minutes so i got some wholemeal tortilla wraps i usually get the gluten-free ones but the mns that i went to was so small so they didn't have any so i got these ones which are actually quite a bit bigger which is amazing because that means more pizza for me then I also picked up this char-grilled chicken. I usually get barbecue, but they didn't have any, so this char-grilled one is really, really nice. Then, for my toppings, I thought I'm going to treat myself to a little cheeky three for seven. So I got this Italian mozzarella. This is amazing. It's in, like, a pesto dressing, and it's just so delicious. I thought that would be... And it's just so delicious. I thought that would be really nice on pizza. Then I also got some of these char-grilled peppers. Instead of kind of cutting up my own peppers, I thought these would be really nice. Lazy, basically. And then I also got some olives, which I'll just pick a few of those out and pop them on here as well. Then I got some rocket for the top of my pizza. Some tomato puree, um, which I'll pop on the base. And then I'm going to use this dairy-free cheese, which I got from Morrison's the other day. Um, and then I also got wine, of course. This is the best wine ever. If you like dry white wine, you will love this. I've seen loads of you tag me um, in your story when you're drinking this wine and it makes me happy. Um, there is my beefy new camera. I didn't quite realise how gigantic it is. Um, but hopefully in my next sit down video, my quality will be a lot better. And then I'm also going to make chocolate covered strawberries. So I got these mountain bars because they've got the nugget in and I love that so much. Hmm, Canon is kind of ruining my flow. Hello. No. Hold up. Wait a minute. Where's my wine? The thing to do when you're feeling sad is put on some happy music. I personally, there's one song that I can listen to, right? And it will quite literally change my frown from upside down. And it's this song right here. I feel like it's a little bit wrong to listen to this song without Sophie here. Sophie, if you're watching this, this one is dedicated to you. Spend loads of money on a Sonos, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Apart from the thing never bloody works. came from there's something about that song that just makes me go a bit mad Sophie that was not the same without you the wine helped me through I actually feel a little bit drunk which is actually a bit embarrassing mind you I have had nearly two glasses and I actually just burped a little bit which is actually a bit disgusted anyway I should probably eat something um because I'm such a lightweight oh hello darling I think Tilly loves Mulan too because she's made an appearance after hearing Let Me Make a Man Out of You. Oh, you're pairing. Hello everyone. Welcome to our girls' night in. I love you. I love you so much. You only love me for my cheese. She loves cheese. I wouldn't be surprised if she could actually smell cheese from the living room. Mm. So I usually make my pizzas on like a grill pan like this. I find it just doesn't make mess because if you use it on a normal tray, the underneath doesn't cook and the cheese goes bloody everywhere. So a grill pan is a little godsend. Oh, I'm weak, I tell you, I'm weak. I'm the type, but tell me, can you hit it right? if I let you in, you better put it down, 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 down. Like, 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 go, put your body on, mate, 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 mate. What, you 
YouTube copyright in music honestly makes me so upset. Like, how fun would it be if we could just make pizzas, have music on? Like, I feel like that would be so good, but YouTube just ruins it for us. So, on top of my wrap, I've just put some tomato puree, and then I'm going to go wild with my toppings tonight. I literally just shook this until he has entered the room again. I don't know why she has an obsession with cheese. She loves cheese and crisps and tuna. They're like her go-to foods. Strange cat, I know. So I'm just gonna pop cheese on the base. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. You're not meant to be up here. Can you go back down? So now I'm just gonna add lots of chicken onto my pizza. The best thing is about these wrap pizzas is you can literally add so much topping on. Like, I just love them so much. Oh, Tilly has collapsed, bless her. Are you hot? Are you too hot? <laughs> you look so... <laughs> oh, you look like a little seal. The pizza with all the toppings is now ready to go in the oven. I'm going to pop this in the oven for about... 15 minutes once everything just looks all kind of melted and cooked and browned on top it is ready to eat this is the nicest dinner ever you know one of those nights where you kind of want to have something a little bit naughty but you don't want that feeling of feeling like crap the next day like i love dominoes don't get me wrong but if i eat a dominoes the next day i almost feel like i've got a bit of a hangover like a food hangover so this is my little treat if i'm having one of them days and i just want some comforting food and now we wait. Oh my god, I swear oven minutes and microwave minutes are the longest. And treadmill minutes. They are the longest minutes ever. Oh my god, you can actually hear the cheese popping. That is the sound of joy. So I've just popped a little bit of rocket on top because I love pizza and salad together. Slightly cremated this side. It's because I was sat outside and I completely forgot about it. But the middle will be absolutely fine. I don't know about anyone else, but I kind of like burnt food. Is that really, really weird? Um, so if you do cook these, keep a very close eye on them because they can burn very, very, very quickly. But I'm thinking, because it's a beautiful day today, let's go sit outside. Brilliant angle, Gemma. Okay, if I didn't feel depressed before, I certainly do now. Next door, I sat outside with their family, and I'm just here chilling with my cannon. It's all good, it's all good. I could be on the phone. A bit of mayo. Bit in the mayo never hurt nobody. Oh my god, I feel like the meanest person ever. Tilly was just trying to open the door with her little paws, and I had to just go up to it and say sorry and shut it. And all I could see was just a meow, but with no noise because I was outside. I feel like there are a lot of eyes on me right now. There's a window just there. There's a window just there. Hmm. Oh my goodness, that is so nice. Do you know what I think makes it really, really nice? The vegan cheese is like really, really, really creamy. I think that's a new must for any pizzas that I make. Do you know what? I don't sit outside enough. It's actually really peaceful. Like it's really nice just to be. I feel like my conversation's getting listened to by next door. Part of me cares. The other part of me doesn't care. Mm, 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 mm. This is actually breaking my heart. I can't look over there because she's sat at the door just looking at me going and it just, it hurts my soul. So I started letting her out in the garden a little bit but she started getting too brave and she started like going really, really close to the fence and I was just having major anxiety every time she went anywhere near the fence. So I put that to a strict stop um, and now she just doesn't go outside. I am actually having a pen built for her. So the lady that I actually got Tilly from, her husband builds like cat runs. So I'm actually having one of those built for her. But obviously that won't be ready for a long time. Um, quite a few people have suggested the, the cat proofing fence, but I don't know, I just think it's a bit ugly, isn't it? And my garden's huge, so I don't know how much I need. So I think I'm gonna wait for the run. Um, she's desperate to get outside, bless her. Do you know what? I've got pizza, got wine, got you guys. I couldn't really ask for much else. 
in my life right about now. I love cheese, like, so much. I feel like if there was... No, that's a lie. I was going to say if there's one thing I could eat for the rest of my life, it would be cheese. Definitely wouldn't be. It would 100% be chocolate and pancakes. I love pancakes. And this pizza. I actually couldn't choose something to eat just for the rest of my life. But cheese is up there. Brie, bit of cranberry, bloomy, bit of camembert, bit of bread in there, mm. bit of cheddar, bit of cheddar never hurt my body, mozzarella, oh, I just love it all. <coughs> I actually just swallowed a whole olive. Wow. I'm just minding my business. Okay, everyone, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, I'm not entirely sure. It's the moment we... Excuse me. Apparently, it's the moment Tilly has been waiting for as well. No, Tilly is only waiting for one thing, and it's this tap right here. So, for chocolate straws, I am going to do white chocolate and milk chocolate, and then I'm also going to maybe do a little bit of a creation and put some of the white on the dark. Who knows? So, first things first, I'm the realist. You know what I mean? We are going to break up the chocolate, milk in here, white in here, in here, uh, can't speak, in here, and then I'm going to pop it in the microwave. Okay, that was satisfying. Oh my god, this is like Toblerone. Yum. So, I've just melted the chocolate. A little tip for anyone wanting to make chocolate covered strawberries, don't buy the chocolate with nougat in it because it's really, really hard to melt because the little bits burn. Um... So I don't really know how this is going to go. Right, here goes nothing. Um, okay, looks a little bit like a sick covered strawberry, I'm not going to lie. You know what? It will be fine. Uh, chocolate? Nope, it's just a spot. I know what you're thinking. Who can mess up chocolate covered strawberries? Me. I can. We're going to roll with it anyway. They'll taste good and that's all that matters. Doesn't matter how they look, it's all about the taste. I mean, I'm pretty sure any chef would disagree, but that's what I'm gonna say to make myself feel better. <laughs> I'm so sad. I mean, here they are. Ta-da! These are no oil painting, but you know what? Beauty comes from within. And in this case, um, listen, I can't save these. Just a top tip, do not, I repeat, do not use the mountain bars from m and <sighs> Back in the boudoir. Right, so I have a choice of face masks today. I'm going to be using a sheet mask. Um, I used to have a bit of a hatred for sheet masks, but now I actually really, really love them, especially when it's quite a hot day. I think they're really, really refreshing. So I have got two from the Moisture Bomb range. Super hydrating and revitalising one, and a super hydrating and glow one so i've got those two then i also have one of these new ones which is these like vitamin shot ones which you pour this onto here basically then i've also got this nip and fab bubble mask um don't really want to be sat here bubbling away whilst doing a girl talk so i'm gonna pick one of the moisture bomb ones i think i think i'm gonna go with pink i'm sat on my bed and my window is behind the camera and there are two houses that face me. I really hope they're not looking out their window right about now because that would be awkward, to say the least. Right, then we pull this blue bit off. Uh. With every single sheet mask I ever put on, I have to fold this bit up on my nose because when I breathe, that happens. And it actually nearly suffocates me. So I always have to fold it over like this. I've swapped my water for wine. Wine for water. Because I just feel like wine just makes me slur. I get drunk way too quickly. And it also gives me a really bad headache. So I'm on the water. I haven't really drank much water today either. So it is now the part of our sleepover where we put our face masks on. And we have just like a chat about everything. So... 
I actually asked you guys on Instagram to send me any dilemmas, any kind of topics. Feel free to comment below any advice you might have. It might really help someone out. So yeah, if I kind of go over a topic that you have a really strong opinion on or you feel like you have some advice that would really, really help, then please comment below because if it just helps one person, then that is just amazing. Okay, so I did see a dilemma that kind of made me... I was a little bit like... I don't know, a little bit baffled by it to be honest. And it was how to make a guy stop liking you. Like, first of all, girl, I wish we could all be in that position. <laughs> Second, how do you make someone stop liking you? I mean, my first advice to that would be have a conversation first of all like no one wants to be kind of savage for no reason i feel like being honest and open is always the best way to be tell him how you feel if you really don't want to hurt his feelings like i i don't know like i think say you started dating someone and you realized that they were not your type and they were really into you but you really weren't into them i personally think it's quite savage to be like you're just not my type or I'm just not into you because that's very personal and I feel like some people would really really take that very personally so I would probably go down the route of maybe saying you're not ready for a relationship even though you are ready for a relationship or kind of just saying you just want to focus on you for a bit I mean, if you do that, you then can't really jump into another relationship because that looks savage. But I don't know. I just never want to hurt anyone's feelings. So I would personally never say to someone, I don't like you. <laughs> but I mean, if he doesn't get the hint, you could always go down the route of finding out what all of his turnoffs are and just doing them all. <laughs> Worst advice ever award goes to Gemma. There's a meme that says... In every girl's inbox, there's a guy talking to himself. Little funny story, there's this guy that I actually went to college with. Never spoke to him at college. He just, you know, when you just know of someone. And he has been messaging me non-stop for the past 10 years. And I've replied twice, telling him that I have a boyfriend. Once, like, three years ago, and then another a year ago, being like, hey sorry I don't reply to your messages like I have a boyfriend because I felt a bit bad ignoring him and he still goes he actually messaged me the other day I can't say what the message is just in case he was to ever watch this video I mean that's highly unlikely but I mean the guy has been messaging me for 10 years um but you know people that just never give up and you try to be polite and you try to say like I've got a boyfriend please stop messaging me and they still do it like how do you genuinely get rid of someone like that you have to turn a little bit savage you gotta be a little bit harsh with them <laughs> oh my god this one made me laugh because i feel like so many girls are going through this right now or even maybe guys how to ignore an ex who has come back into your life because of quarantine i feel like if your ex has come back into your life in this quarantine period and they are being very honest and they're telling you that maybe they've had time to think and they miss you then maybe yeah see how it goes out of lockdown if they're coming at you with the aubergine emoji, the eyes emoji, talking about sex, no, sorry. You are not a quarantine booty call. I mean, we've got to keep two metres distance, so I don't know what he thinks he's going to be getting. Okay, it's time to take this off. Oh my god, my skin feels amazing. Okay, so moving on to a few topics that I felt like were just really, really important to talk about and they were really popular. I had loads of dilemmas that were kind of based around these topics. So the first topic was finding it hard to be motivated, happy, productive and positive during the lockdown period. I just want to start by saying you are not alone. I think everyone in the whole world is feeling very unsettled and really quite just up and down at the moment like I find my emotions are so up and down but not even daily like throughout the day I'll have like spouts of energy where I'm like happy and productive and motivated and then I'll almost have like a real low where it's almost like a feeling of hopelessness and I'm kind of like ah how long can I keep this up for and I know this sounds a little bit strange to say but I almost find peace in the fact that I know that I'm not alone in this. I know that so many other people are feeling like it and as much as I wish no one else would feel like this because it's horrible, it's quite um, 
comforting I guess is the right word that everyone is kind of in the same boat at the moment and you know we've all just got to help each other I try and talk about bad days as much as I can on vlogs and stuff because I think it's so very important for you to all know that I have shit days as well and yes I try and be positive 99.9% .9 of the time but some days you just have to let yourself feel whatever you want to feel if you're having a bad day and you really cannot just get yourself out of that mood I just think don't put pressure on yourself take each day as it comes a few little tips that sound really really generic but I find really 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 help like for me is planning planning my week for me is absolutely essential every single saturday or sunday afternoon i will sit down and i'll take an hour to plan my week i will plan every single day of the week i'll plan when i'm going to do my food shop and i'll plan my meals for the week scheduling my tanning routine and a little pamper night i think as long as you have a plan then it's a lot easier to be productive if you wake up one morning and you have zero plans it's really really hard to motivate yourself so my number one tip would one million percent be take a little bit of time over the weekend and make yourself a really really detailed to-do list another thing that really helps me is if you are having a bad day let yourself have the bad day fill it with all the things that you know make you feel happy have almost like a little restart day and just restart your body your mind everything maybe have a long bath watch a film that you love put on some happy music have a face mask do this like literally just sit and have an evening to yourself facetime a friend you know reach out to people don't be afraid to tell people you're feeling this way talking is so 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 important i am always here i try and get back to all of my direct messages my inbox is like the black hole sometimes and if they go into my message request folder as soon as it goes over 99 plus they start to go so if i don't ever reply to a dm it's either because it's got lost in my inbox since i did that giveaway my inbox has been crazy and i've just not been able to even get back to dms because they're just so full so if you know you do reach out to me via dm and i for any reason haven't replied to you please just give me a nudge um, my instagram is a little bit crazy but just give me a nudge and i will get back to you because it's really really important to have someone to talk to right now and that's another reason why i wanted to create this girl talk video just so i don't know we could come together make some um sick covered strawberries <laughs> and just have a chat so the next topic which i had loads and loads and loads of dms about is pressure in your 20s now i can relate to this so so much i find your 20s is such a weird age <laughs> this sounds really negative but i'm gonna say it because i just want to keep this really raw and real do you ever just look at someone else's life and just think they have got their shit together like they've actually got it sorted and then you just sit thinking what am i doing like what am i doing with my life and i think i sound ridiculous saying that and i'm i'm actually annoyed at myself for saying that but i'm just being real everybody compares their life to someone else's and as much as you can sit there and say don't go on social media and don't compare your life to someone else's you do because that is what humans do i think it's very normal to feel pressure in your 20s in your teens in your 30s in your 40s life is pressure because it's almost like i don't know you have expectations of what you think your life should be or like should be by this point and when i think you don't meet those expectations you are kind of left thinking well, what now like for example i'm not gonna lie I'm so grateful for everything I have in my life like oh my god I love my job I love you guys like I'm so grateful to be in this position that I'm in right now if I could go back 10 years and say right Gemma what will you be doing in 10 years I would honestly think I'd be like married with kids by now and that worries me because then I start to think what if that what if that's not on the cards for me <laughs> and I think one of the main things in life that I like really really want is a family you know is a husband is a life partner is children 
like a family home and I know that if I had got married when I was younger and had children I wouldn't have everything that I have now um, and this was obviously my destiny but I don't know it doesn't stop you worrying I think what I'm trying to say is everybody worries I truly believe everything happens for a reason like that is my motto in life I truly believe every single thing happens for a reason. I also believe that every single person has a path that's already made for them. And what is meant for you will never pass you by. If you are meant to be married with children, you'll be married with children. If you're meant to be the president, you will be the president. When I'm having a bit of a down day and I'm kind of thinking, ah, when's this gonna happen? Like, what am I doing? What about this? What about that? Like a little bit of a worried, anxious day. I just like to think of that little quote and it, it really does make me feel better. At the end of the day, life isn't meant to be easy. Life is full of challenges and choices and it's exciting because you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, another topic that I saw a lot of was modern day dating. Right, I say this all the time. I should have genuinely been born like a hundred years ago. I think relationships right now are so different to like what our grandparents had. And I think these days, instead of fixing a relationship, it, it's very easy to throw it away and get in another one. And I think like a hundred years ago, you would get with someone when you're like 16 and you'd make it work. And I love that. I love the thought of being with someone and accepting that you're not perfect, they're not perfect. And you know, you will go through shit. You will have hurdles and you will have rough patches and you'll have doubts, but as long as you both make each other a promise to no matter what sort things out, I think that's like really beautiful, you know. I really like that, it make, that makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Like where do people even meet anymore? Like where do people genuinely meet? I mean, we ain't gonna meet no one right now because we're in isolation. And if you do bump into Mr. Right in Aldi, you gotta stay two meters away from him. So I just can't really see how that's gonna work, but like, the only way to really meet someone right now is like Tinder. The next topic which I chose was self-confidence and body image, self-love. I had loads of questions from you guys about this and I think I'm actually going to do a separate video for this because, I don't know, I feel like this is very, very important to talk about. I think self-love is not something you can do overnight and I'm going to be completely honest and this might sound a little bit negative. I don't think there is anyone that, I don't know what to say, I don't think there's anyone that absolutely loves themselves as a person, like loves absolutely everything about themselves and I feel like that's quite a negative thing to say really, but at the same time, I believe self-love and self-confidence and accepting yourself is something that you work out throughout life. I don't know many people that are 100% confident. I don't know many people that are 100% happy with themselves. I think we are our biggest critiques. I personally pick myself apart all the time and I try so hard not to do it, but some days are worse than others and some days I do look in the mirror and I am just a little bit like, the quote that I really, really love, and it goes, let me just try and remember it. It goes something like, stop hating yourself because you're stuck with yourself forever. I feel like that wasn't it, but it's along the lines of something like that. And basically it means there is no point hating yourself because you are you. But yeah, self-love is a little bit of a hard one because I feel like I'm still practicing this and I haven't nailed it so I can't sit here and say this is what you need to do. Um, I think body confidence is again all about acceptance. You don't have to be completely happy with your body and completely love your body but you have to accept that you are you and I think that's something that I've got a lot better at. Um, I do still do things that a lot of people probably wouldn't say is very healthy um but i have struggled with an eating disorder in the past and some little things that i notice myself doing part of me does feel like they'll be with me for life because i i used to be so 
obsessed with my weight. I used to be so obsessed with my calories and stuff like that that I, I do feel like there is a part of me that will always overanalyze that kind of stuff. Um, I've got a lot better, like a lot better, but I don't know. I've just accepted that is what I'm like. Um, and I'm not going to stress myself out with trying to change that. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a whole video on body confidence, self-love and stuff like that. So I'll probably pop a little question -y thing on my Instagram story soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you would like to send in any questions or any personal stories that you would like to share. So the last topic, which was probably the most popular, was breakups. Can I just start by saying breakups are never going to be easy and there is no quick fix to a breakup and I sound old with what I'm about to say and when I was 18 and someone would say this to me I would literally roll my eyes back to like 2004 but time is the biggest healer and I even hate myself a little bit for saying that but it really really truly is time is the biggest healer they say that they I don't know who they is but I've heard that apparently when you do the same thing for 30 days it becomes routine and becomes easier so say you've just broken up with someone if you go no contact if you go no contact for 30 days it's apparently meant to be easier hard thing to have to deal with but please know again that every single thing happens for a reason if you break up with someone or they break up with you it has happened for a reason and if you two are meant to be together it might be a case of it might not be right now and in five years time you both might have gone your separate ways grown up you know had a bit of time to yourself worked on yourself and then you may come back together like i said earlier what is meant for you in life will not pass you by and i firmly believe in every single situation in life if you are struggling with a breakup right now this sounds silly, but this is something me and all my friends live by. <laughs> we literally live by this. Is get yourself a pen, get yourself some paper, and write the most negative list you've ever wrote. What you need to do is, it kind of depends how you broke up again, but if it was on bad terms, or you, know, you were just at each other's throats and it came to an end, write on that piece of paper everything they ever did to upset you, everything they ever did to anger you, everything they ever did to annoy you, all of their bad traits. And I know this sounds really negative, but the reason I make the list is, you get it all out of here, onto the paper, get every single thing out, you read it, you maybe keep it for a few weeks just to help you if you're having that feeling of, oh, they were such a lovely person, read the list. They were not a good person. <laughs> um, read the list, keep going over it until you feel ready to let it go. And when you let it go, rip the piece of paper up into a hundred little pieces, put it in the bin and just get it out of your mind. This helps so much. It helps declutter your brain, it helps you process it, it helps you realise and as time goes on you will start to see that person for that list if that makes sense. And I know that's quite a negative thing to do but what I'm trying to say is you need to get to the point of accepting it. Accepting it is what it is you are no longer together and you can't spend your life pining after this one person. You know, you have to live your life. And like I said, if you're meant to be together, you will be together. So my lovelies, that is gonna go ahead and conclude our little girls night in. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have been having a little bit of creator's block this past week where I don't really know what to film anymore um not anymore i think i'm just having an off few days my last few videos i haven't really been 100 percent happy with them and i've been really 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 worried that you guys wouldn't like them like honestly earlier today i was having a full-on meltdown on the phone to sophie saying like i don't like my content anymore like i don't know what to do and I think a lot of people that do YouTube are probably in the same boat right now. Like, it's so limited what I can film right now. As much as I'm so grateful that this is my job, it's really hard sometimes if you're having a bit of a bad patch to motivate yourself to film, to be creative and think of content, especially 
when we're in lockdown because like I said there's only so much I can film and I just haven't been very happy with my content for the past kind of week and I'm really worried you guys aren't going to like it I'm just having a bit of a worry day but I do hope you enjoyed this video um if there is anything you would like to see please let me know in the comments box below but yeah thank you for joining me on our little girls night I feel really happy because I know this sounds strange I know I've spent all evening by myself but because I've had you guys with me well technically you guys aren't actually with me it's just me and the cannon but it feels nice to feel like there's someone else here it feels less lonely I love you guys so much I hope you have a really happy positive week ahead remember bad days are normal everyone's having them I'm having more than normal <laughs> so please don't ever feel alone we're all in this together and we will all get through this together Love you guys so much.